Remove the protective cover. Remove the pipe plug. Check and inspect the O-ring on the bottom of service valve. Mount the service valve on the access fitting. Tighten it to the fitting with the plastic hammer. Connect the hoses from the pump to the retriever. Set the hand air pump to install and pump until the connecting rod is fully extended. Continue to pump until the pressure inside the retriever is a minimum of 2 MPa. Set the hand air pump to retrieve, the pressure drops to zero. That means the connecting rod is all out. Set the hand air pump to install, then close the head valve and disconnect the hoses. Hold the retriever so the connecting rod faces the service valve. Put the connecting rod into the service valve and mate the threads on the rod and the plug together. Screw the rod into the plug by rotating the retriever. Screw until the rotation suddenly stops. Do not tighten. Connect again the hoses from the pump and set the pump to retrieve. Connect the hammer nut to the service valve and screw until it stops. Then tighten the hammer nut by use of the plastic hammer. Set the pump to install. And pump until the pressure in the retriever is at least 30 to 50 bar higher than the pressure inside the pipeline. Loosen all of the locking pins in the access fitting. Note the length of the locking pin until the head of the pin is flush with the outside of the access fitting. No threads must be visible. Set the pump to retrieve. Then release the cylinder pressure by pumping one stroke on the pump. The pressure gauge on the right side a little upward pressure. Set the hand air pump to install and then zero. At this time, manual pressure, indicating that the plug has been completely retrieved. Close the service valve. Note that the plug must be fully recovered into the lift assembly before the isolation valve can be closed. With the service valve closed, the pressure inside the retriever must be released. Open the bleed valve. Retriever can now be disconnected from the valve. Loosen the hammer nut and unscrew it from the valve. Then lift the retriever away from the service. Set the pump to install. Pump the plug assembly out of the retriever. Remove the plug. 
Disassembly complete. Mount the plug to the connecting rod. Note that you can screw it on with your hand. Do not screw it too tightly. Set the pump to retrieve and pump until the probe has been fully retracted into the retriever. Lift the retriever onto the service valve, screw the hammer nut onto the valve, and tighten it. Close the bleed valve. Open the bypass valve. And close the bypass valve after the pressure is balanced. Open the service valve. Set the pump to install. The pressure in the retriever should be slightly greater than the pressure in the pipe. Tighten all locking pins on the access fitting. The pins must be tightened evenly around the access fitting, in order to avoid the plug being pushed against one side of the fitting. When the plug is fixed in position by the locking pins, the pressure in the retriever can release. Set the pump to retrieve. The gauge on the pump shall now show zero. Loosen the hammer nut and unscrew it completely from the service valve. Set the pump to install. The pressure gauge on the right side a little upward pressure and then zero. Disconnect the hoses from the retriever. And then unscrew the retriever connecting rod from the plug by rotating the retriever. Use the hammer to loosen the service valve from the hydraulic access fitting. Remove the valve. The plug is now installed on the base. Install pipe plug. Install the protective cover. Installation complete.